Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Doking Johnson before, and yes, I just replaced LeGarrette Blunt for Chris Ivory. Yes, I did wasted that many coins because it's a desperate mood. I mean, I needed a running back that can actually explode from the lineman. If not, we're never gonna get around. So that's all I needed for sure. Chris Ivory for sure was the only addition that I needed in order for my offense to work and the ground and pound skill to work. So um, I didn't change anyone else. It was just the running back. With one change, will it actually impact the game? We'll see right now, guys. As long the way, I'll explain to you guys how what happened and how explosive Chris Ivory was. So, yeah, another thing about this gameplay, guys, is pretty much solid. It's just a football game. It's an actual, um, you know, great uh, matchup. So we'll be able to see what happened right here, right away with an interception by Tremaine Brock. Yet again. The last game, if you guys saw my last game, Tremaine Brock also did an interception at like around third down or second down right off the first drive. The previous game after that, I mean the previous game before that one, uh, it was Terrence Newman. So yeah, I just keep on intercepting the ball right away in the first drive. I don't know what people think that uh, you know throwing streaks down the middle can actually work. So so yeah, so right now I just did my first run with Chris Ivory. Did a hell of a job getting like around 10 yards. Jeremy Macklin down the middle with the post route. Jeremy Macklin just missed it like by a yard or an inch. Amazing catch by Macklin. I suggest if you're in ground and pound division right now, guys, pick up Jeremy Macklin. He's an actual great receiver. He'll, he'll catch any ball you throw at him. Um, he may be a little bit slow. But he'll get out there. He'll actually catch the ball for you. So it's just a tip for you guys. Ground and pound. I recommend Jeremy Macklin. Right now on defense, pretty much he's just throwing down the middle. Slant, slants, and then, then run ISO and power O's. The power O's won't work for him. Why? Because I have the best run stuff defense right now. I have Postle Eye. Well, I don't have Postle Eye yet. It'll come up on the, in the future videos. But um, I have Linville Joseph and uh, Phil Taylor. Pretty much you cannot run down the middle with against those guys. They have like over 90 block shedding. My defensive ends are a little bit of a problem though, but not that big of a problem yet. My linebackers were the only ones getting clowned on. They were pretty much um, getting easily, you know, penetrated through. The receivers were just running slants and they'll catch the ball and my, my linebackers wouldn't react. There were some few times where they could actually intercept the ball, but they didn't react on time. Like it's just a bunch of late reactions going on here. So... Uh, Manny Lawson, AJ Hawk, and Jabal Shirt will soon be replaced by Ahmad Brooks, Brandon Spikes, and I forgot who the other guy is on the other side uh, that I'm going to replace him with. And right here, Chris Ivory, over 60 yards run here, and it's amazing. Chris Ivory just setting the tone on the offense, pretty much of a simple run. Ahmad Bradshaw, because for sure he got tired. Play action to the right side, tight ends open to the post. Touchdown, Dwayne Allen. I had Brent Selick earlier, but I learned that he doesn't block that good. So I ended up putting um, Dwayne Allen in because he knows how to, he has the strength, he has the run block. So pretty much I put him in over Brent Selick, but I'm still looking forward for a tight end that's pretty much faster than Dwayne Allen. Dwayne Allen has like 74 speed, so he, he ain't a lot faster than uh, Brent Selick. Uh, so here's my opponent trying to, you know, score as fast as possible. If not, you know, the game is over for him. And right here, this is what I wanted to explain to you guys. May Lawson ain't reacting to those passes. I don't understand why. I mean, the guy's 6'6", but he ain't reacting. It should, should have been a pick. The game should have been over by that point, but I don't know why my linebackers are reacting like that. So here it is. Amal Bradshaw down the middle. Juke him to, to the right side. Yet nobody touches him. And he runs out to the outside. It's just amazing what uh, my running backs are doing. Chris Ivory down the middle. 65-yard run. Amazing by Chris Ivory the Beast. This is my new beast, guys. They ain't no Marshall Lynch. This is Chris Ivory world, man. Chris Ivory is owning his defense so badly. So badly. I, I, it was, I think he's one of the best pickups I've ever done here in Man Ultimate Team. Besides T.Y. Hilton and... Um, who was my other best pickup? Uh, Ryan Tannehill off the solo challenges. So, yeah, right now my number one best pickup was Chris Ivory. I recommend Chris Ivory. He's a hell of a beast. Uh, my next forward, uh, I'm, I'm still looking forward for Doug Martin, though. Anyways, um, on the gameplay, guys, on defense, I pretty much kept pressing him, and that's why I almost intercepted the ball a few times here and there. But uh, he found out, and he threw a streak on the right side, and, and then he ended up burning my press coverage. And there he goes going for two-point conversion. Now, on this final drive, guys, I will show you guys my plays that I used so, uh, to score under one minute. So there he goes, Jeremy Macklin to the left side, inside post route. 
uh, send Dwayne Allen in the streak, see if he's going to be open. If he's not, throw him into the inside slant, which is going to be open because he keeps manning up the, the coverage. Harry Douglas is quite fast, so he might be able to, you know, pretty much get open down the middle on the slant. I'm um, going to send Dwayne Allen yet again on a, on a post route. Harry Douglas down the middle. Luckily, he didn't drop it. So, yeah, pretty lucky. Right here is the part when I streak Dwayne Allen because I know he keeps on using the linebacker. So it's up to him either, either to, cover, to cover the slot or to cover the tight end. Right here he got really confused and I threw it down the middle with Dwayne Allen. Incredible drive. I saved my ass from losing. Dwayne Allen down the middle. Amazing. Just won the game by 24 to 21. Barely won it but it was a good matchup though. I admit it. This guy is a good guy. It's just that he has plot, potholes in his, in his defense, you know, like bad, just like my defense. So, um, so yeah, that's it now, guys. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the game. It was a solid game. Nothing was better than the other one. Everybody was good. Um, I still need to replace my linebackers and um, uh, I still need to replace my slot, Harry Douglas, um, because I want to pick up Patterson. So, yeah, I got a few, um, you know, goals here and there and um, I'm still, still looking forward for them. Because I know I can do better with with better players. So, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the game. Leave a like, leave a comment. Tell me what's up. Tell me what's your favorite part of the whole gameplay. For sure, is the Chris Ivory one. He did it twice, man. He ran it all the way, twice. He's slow. Not 88 speed, 90 acceleration, but yeah, he's freaking a beast, man. He's a beast, especially with my O line. So, leave a like and subscribe for more Madden 15 Ultimate Team.